When as an end user you open the UPK player package, the UPK overview page will open. On this overview screen you will be able to view the outline of the UPK player on the left with the corresponding modules, lessons and topics made available by the UPK developer. On the right side you will find the introduction text as I has described in the blog. This introduction text is currently empty but will show information about a topic as soon as you select one. Now to start our tour through the UPK end player modes, we first open one of the modules from the outline. For this video, I will use a UPK player package that has been developed by Oracle explaining the Human Resource PeopleSoft 9.1 system. For this video, we will try and demonstrate how to manage positions in PeopleSoft. When opening an outline, you can use the minus and the plus addition or icons on the left side of your outline. As you, can see, as you can see when we open one of the outline modules, a whole bunch of new modules as decided by Oracle open up underneath it. For this demonstration we will try to enter a position in the PeopleSoft system. As you can see when I open a topic, the left side As you can see on the right side, a new screen opens with the introduction text and the five different player modules. First off, I will try to demonstrate the see it mode. When you select the see it mode, it enables you to learn a selected UPK topic by watching an animated demonstration of a certain task being completed. As you can see, when I open the see it mode, the title appears and the user kind of has no real interaction with the system he is trying to learn. All he gets is a video about how he should do it and a mouse icon that is actually performing the tasks. Underneath each screen, a little balloon is visible. In this case, it displays see it because we're in the see it mode. And it actually shows you what you have to do. Sometimes the see it can be a little longer with more information when it's needed to complete the transaction. But usually it's small little transactions like click, add uh, or continue. As you can see, you can make your own time decisions in this see it mode. You can decide to make the, the mouse icon go within five minutes, five seconds or three seconds or eight seconds depending on the amount of information you're trying to show to your end users. As you can see, the see it texts are kind of going fast for this topic. Um, so the Oracle has made a decision that if you want to see the actual text, you have to press the pause button. I hope that this gives an overview of what see it actually tries to accomplish. It gives you um, a simple video about how actions work in a certain system this can be PeopleSoft this can be SAP but this can also just be simple browsing the internet and making actions of it uh, the see it mode is only made available so the end user can get a, a feeling of the system for now I will just cancel the action and I will try and show you the try it mode the try it mode is a little bit more interactive um, the video that we just saw in the see it mode um, it's actually up to the end user now to go and work with this system. As you can see, nothing will happen until I press enter or start. And after I do that, you can see I can just use the mouse in this interactive environment and I have to actually perform the tasks of uh, that the UPK is asking me. So in this case, I have to click uh, the add slash update position info. And as you can see, if I don't do anything, the system just won't continue. This is an easy way for an end user to uh, perform tasks in their own uh, speed and their own tempo without um, having to rush things or missing stuff. Uh, and you can even take notes while you're doing it. Um, the nice thing about the UPK player is that if you fail an action, for example, I'm not clicking the add new value, but I'm clicking the search. Um, the UPK tells me that what I'm doing is uh, incorrect and that I should complete the action in the highlighted area if I want to continue. Well, as you can see now, um, the text that we saw in the see it mode actually um, 
isn't going away now. You can take your time to actually read it um, and perform the task that is asked of you. In this case, we have to uh, enter a number in the position number field. Um, as a UPK developer, you have the option to either choose to put these tags inside of the see it mode or just to completely skip them. Uh, most UPK developers decide to skip them because um, they want to show the text in the try it mode when the user actually has time to read it and skip them in the see it mode because they are only uh, seeing a video of how a transaction should work and you should not get any extra ex information in that video. For now, as you can see, I will just complete the uh, action and it gives you a, an easy to use overview of how stuff works. Again, you get some little information and if you want to continue, you have to press continue to actually continue with the steps. As you can see, when I press the action button, uh, a new screen opens with either a previous step or a next step in case you miss something or you want to skip text um, or maybe even restart the whole, uh, the whole topic or view the printed mode in which I will discuss in a little bit or close the topic if you're just uh, done with it. In this case, we will close it. Um, so that's for the see it mode. The see it is uh, uh, the animated de demonstration and the try it mode is to actually uh, perform the demonstration you just saw in the see it mode with usually extra information in the form of text balloons. Uh, the know it mode allows you to actually test your ability to perform a selected task in this simulated area and in this case i won't get any information at all i just have a score that i need to pass in this case it's 70 uh, percent you can decide that as a upk developer how much percentage uh, you want to give to a test and if i want to complete this know it mode i actually have to make it ac across that 70 percent without failing so when i press start now as you can see i am given no information at all um, i could get a hint if i want to but the actually the actual learning starts after the person has seen the animated video and has tried using it in the try it and actually is tested here. So in this case, I'll just click wrong for a second. And as you can see, the UPK tells me that the action I have performed is incorrect and I get another try. And if I click wrong again, as you can see, he tells me what you're doing is wrong. What you have to do is this, in this case, point to the or organizational development link. So if I actually perform the task correct, you can see that the know it mode uh, hides the hints again, and you actually have to complete the next steps yourself without getting any help. The only difference between the try it mode and the know it mode is that you're actually tested on the amount of mistakes that you make. If you have kept attention during the see it and the try it mode, you should be able to perform the know it mode within the 70% without failing. Um, but some stuff you just can't remember, like entering uh, a position number in case, as you just saw in the try it and the see it mode, we have to enter this number, um, but it's, it's kind of hard for an end user to remember a number. So the know it mode actually shows that number uh, as the only action that you have to perform. But after that, it stays hidden again. Um, I will just skip ahead. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. As you can see, um, if I try to show a step, like I, I, I'm really confused or I don't know what to do, and I'm just asking the system to show me the step because I really don't know. Uh, the system asks me if I really want uh, to see the step, but he will grade it as incorrect. And if I press yes, you can see that the mouse actually um, does the action for me and then asks me to continue working to complete it, this task. Um, as you can see, you can always get uh, two times uh, that you have performed an action incorrect. Uh, as a UK, UPK developer, you can either decide to make this uh, a one-time mistake or even a three-time mistake, depending on um, how much you want to give to your end users. Um, usually uh, a company decides to use either one or two, um, but if you are really um, trying to make your end users 
getting to know a system you can give them two times but if they have a topic uh, which is uh, one of the most important topics of your company or your system uh, you can decide to either make this one time so the end user has to um, perform this completely correctly and make no fails because when they do this in the live system they are not allowed to make uh, a mistake too so as you can see if I press that I'm doing it wrong again, it gives me a third option to, in my opinion, this is kind of a lot. But if I fail it again, the system says, okay, it's enough. After three times making a mistake, I'm going to do it myself. If you complete uh, one of these uh, know it modes in the end, you will get uh, uh, your result. And if you fail, uh, so let's say you scored less than 70% in this example, you will actually fail the test and you will not get uh, a certificate for completing this topic. However, if you do complete it and you are, are scoring above 70%, uh, you will get a certificate which you can, uh, as an employer, you can collect the certificates of your employees if you want to make sure that they understand the system that they're working with but of course that's up to the company for now i will just exit the know it mode and uh, not be scored so i won't get a certificate well the do it mode is the um, selecting if i select this i will try to uh, complete the task of entering a position in a real life system for example um, i do have the real people soft um, environment and if I want to do the people soft environment for real um, I can just try to go there and actually perform the task for real and what the UPK does is it stays uh, in the bottom of your screen um, so you can use it uh, sorry about that I <laughs> closed the UPK topic <laughs> Um, but as you can see, I am in a real live PeopleSoft uh, environment at the moment. And here in the right, as a, a guide, it actually shows me what to do. So for entering a position, it shows me the steps I have to perform to actually go there. So in this case, it shows me I have to go to organizational development. So I click this. And which step do we have to do then? We have to go to position management okay position management I think you get the idea of what I'm trying to make you show as you can see the steps that you actually have to perform um, are shown on the right of your screen and um, this isn't just the navigation to it but actually also the typing and the text the hints that you have to perform uh, to complete one of these steps so that's the do it mode in short and the last version we have is the printed mode. So in this case, for entering a position, we can also press the printed mode. And what it will show us is, in this case, it will open a Microsoft Word file. And it will show us the uh, information that is able or, or available for this topic. As you can see, Oracle decided to not give any information for um, the printed mode in this case, which is a shame. Um, but usually they, you see the steps that you have to perform on this. I will try to find a different UPK topic that actually has a printed mode so I can at least show you what it, um, what it. Okay, in this case, I just took one of my own UPK topics that I've created and I'm showing you the printed version of this. Um, instead of a Word file, I decided, to, I decided to make it a HTML file. So what you can see is that the steps that you have to perform in a certain topic, in this case, change marital status, um, are shown on the left side with the actions that you have to perform on the right side. So when as an end user, you decide not to use the complete do it mode um, or see it mode or try it mode, but you just want a quick reference, um, to what you have to perform you can use this printed mode and you will see the text versions of uh, what which steps you have to perform so for now I hope that I've informed you uh, about what uh, UPK has to offer and um, in short what the end user sees when using a UPK player um, and I hope to see you next time <laughs>